I'm making bad art all the time. In this video, I am speaking to the importance of making bad art. I was on a roll and then my iPhone just stopped. Too much storage. Okay, let's take two. Hi creatives, my name is Sky Lucking and I am the host of Courageous Creatives. It is the YouTube channel that helps you reach your artistic goals using inspiration, education, courage building, and community. In this video, I want to speak to the importance of making bad art. Now, for artists and creatives, a lot of times it is just the natural reflexive state to be hypercritical of your work. I saw a quote just today that said, it's never going to be perfect and it's never going to be done, but you can accept certain pieces. Other pieces, you know that you dash them off quickly or when you step back and you look at them, eh, you know they're not going to go on your highlight reel or your portfolio. And those works are the foundation for all of your amazing, beautiful, brilliant work. No one gets to the beautiful and brilliant without making the terrible and ugly. No one pops out of the womb knowing how perspective works or composition works or shading works or lighting works or tint works. Everything is an experiment. And creating artwork, it's a learned skill. Drawing is a learned skill. Painting is a learned skill. Yes, there are some people who catch on more quickly or have a, a more attuned eye, but you should have a gross mindset when it comes to creating your artwork. I went to I went to two events. Actually, I'm making bad art all the time. Hopefully not every time, but all the time. One example is in Phoenix, Arizona, there is a event called Mural Mondays, which I absolutely love. I love the concept. I wish I had enough time to go every single Monday, but I was able to go twice. And both times I went there, enjoyed the company, and made terrible artwork. The first time it was Mural Mondays and it's so cool because they had a cart of spray cans and spray paint that you could just use. Um, these were left over from previous projects. I didn't know that uh, you could bring your own paint and, and paint it up. So I just grabbed some cans from, from the cart and they have these panels that have been painted gray that people can practice their spray painting skills on and make artwork on that Monday. And I, it was dark and they hadn't turned the lights on. So it was cold and it was dark and the spray cans that I had gotten of the like five or six colors that I had gotten, only two worked and one of the tips was kind of sputtering out. Did that mean that I was not going to create something on a mural Monday? No, no, what a waste of time, right? So I made some bad artwork. It wasn't good and I was okay with that because I figured out a few things about how spray cans work. I'm not super, super experienced yet with spray can painting. I want, to, I want to learn and be better, and I had a prime opportunity, but I knew it was going to be bad artwork, and that's important. I didn't put my name on it. The second time I was at a mural Monday, it was for an airbrushing class, and I have I never used an airbrush before and I jumped at the opportunity because my friend Backpack who, don't even get me started about Backpack, she's the most brilliant person I know. She was hosting this airbrushing class, it was a community event and I absolutely loved it. She used purple which is like one of my favorite colors which was great, did not know what I was doing and so again I did some pretty bad artwork, some weird flaming lips, weighing coin kind of character that started off as a woman and then I wanted to give her a, a better jawline but I ended up giving her a beard and so <laughs> it just it kind of progressed from there or digressed from there. But 
Again, bad artwork, but I took away some skills and just a little bit more comfort in how to use that tool. So here's a question for you. What recently have you done that you weren't really crazy about, you thought it was bad artwork, but you appreciated the process and you felt like you were the better for creating the bad artwork? What lessons have you learned in creating some bad artwork? Tell me in the comments below or just say hi in the comments below. It is total crickets down there and I would love to hear from you. If you're new here, then please consider subscribing. I have a huge list that I have just started on. In fact, this is the first video of that list. I have a ton of content planned out. It's all geared toward making you a better artist or creative. So consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification so you never miss a video. Thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.